Okay, you're looking at the finished product of my 2014 photo a day project and um, it was a, a portrait a day. Um, it's called 365 Portraits. It's 2014. You're going, oh, it's 2016 now. What's that all about? Well, when, when I finished my studies and I worked out how I was going to mount the pages and I started work on them and then I got very busy with other things and it didn't go ahead as normal. So originally this was supposed to look like a, a calendar with every month uh, it was going to be a large format calendar and every month have its day and every picture accredited to each day on that. And then I got crafty and I thought I want to make an artist book out of it because I love book binding and bookmaking and um, made something a little bit more different. In the end now, I maybe think that it would have been better to go with the original idea, but you do what you do. So, just to get an idea of the size of this, this is a standard 30 centimetre ruler, and if I lay that along the base of it, it's um, it's, it's actually 41 centimetres long, so by about uh, 7 and a bit centimetres high. All of the photos in this book are square format, I used Instagram to document them and um, yeah when I set up the pages I actually put page, pictures on both sides of the pages and they were all loose pages and I was stunned I, I thought I was going to do some stab binding a stab binding technique which is Japanese technique and that means bending the pages is folding the pages as well and I just thought didn't want to do that so I looked around on YouTube found a woman's um, web page oh, I wish I could remember her name to tell you but I can't and um, she came up with this single page binding technique that um, is sort of like a Coptic binding technique uh, where the stitching itself is a feature of the book uh, but you individually bind each page and uh, very time consuming I spent a number of days just completing the binding of this book and um, well you know you do what you do uh, she did say on the video to be careful that you didn't have too many pages and um, you know and I think she did a 20 page book in her video I've done a count of this and I think there's about um, no I can't remember now there's about 94 or 96 pages in total but that includes because I chose to because they're all photos on there and depending on the conditions of the air they can stick together and get damaged so I actually put um, tracing paper um, inserts in between each page which doubled the amount of pages that I was going to do so I'm not going to go through the whole book because it's um, it'll be boring <laughs> but um, I'll show you a few and I it's basically a, a um, a bit of my year that happened in 2014 and I, I went for a portrait a day and um, well, I'm going to move this around as I go um, there's kind of like the introduction to um, to the whole thing you can pause that if you really want to read it uh, at the bottom there it basically says that taking a portrait a day of subjects that were different every day was very difficult task and right down in the bottom corner over here it says that if you want to know more about how the photos were taken or where I found the people, you can go to www.instagram.com slash Brendan O'Brien, all one word, no apostrophe, and uh, you'll be able to see um, a bit more information about each person because that's what I, what I did there. So I'm just going to randomly open pages, but we'll start at the start because part of this project was I was going to start on the first day January the 1st was going to be a selfie of myself and December 31st was going to be a selfie of myself and all of the rest of the photos with no one done twice although I did change that rule a little bit because some people appeared in photos with other people um, and I, they were all going to be sandwiched between two selfies of me and um, we were going to work out where we were going um, with that until I actually took some photos of I think there's three people in there who appear twice and they were accidents I didn't realize that I had done that um, until I was going through the photos and realized later on so I just randomly open at pages and I'll share some memories with you I'm going to go backwards and forwards to different sides here so ah, this bloke in the middle here that's Norm I'll zoom in 
<laughs> with my hands. Um, Norm is a very fine man from uh, in the Catholic Church here in Bendigo, and uh, he does a lot of um, helping out around the around the cathedral. And that was one morning where he was turning the sprinklers on around the cathedral, and I uh, said, "I'll oh, get a photo of you, Norm." And he was like, "No worries." The woman next to him, um, that's Bid. Uh, she used to live in a house just down around the corner from my place and um, this photo was taken when she was I think 99 years old um, I think she was 99 and uh, yeah she's the mother of, a, of an old friend of mine and um, and she was getting ready for her 100th birthday which was only a little bit away I think she made it to her 100th birthday their house has since been sold and they've moved away but a bit has died since then so we'll come over here. Again, this is just random. I'm opening pages without even realising where I'm going. But I've written everyone's names on them. So um, so if we have a look here, actually all of these people on this page are strangers to me. They were all people that I found. This guy in the middle here, Jason. Um, I was at the one of the hotels in town, the Shamrock one night in the sports bar. And um, that was where I got quite a few photos. Um, and... Jason was there and I asked him could I take a photo and he said no worries sure so we'll go over to a different page now so have a look here okay <laughs> speaking of that bar there's Beck and Beck was in the um in that uh bar that night as well uh, not not that night but it was a different night and uh she was a person that I had a bit of a dance with and her boyfriend was there and I took her photo in front of the drum kit. That was pretty cool. And right next to her is Dan and Carl, who are uh, old friends of mine. Um, Dan's, I know, from uni and Carl from the Cornerstone community. And this was at, uh, I think it was a an Easter celebration or it might have been a, um, um, a solstice celebration for the Cornerstone community. Um, so we'll go back over onto this side again. Like I said, they're just random. Uh, yeah, open up to a page and see. Oh, great page here. Excellent page, in fact. So, um, again, we've got some really uh, familiar people to me there. In the middle is Pat. Pat's an, an old mate of mine when my parents first moved up to the country where um, my dad's still living and uh, Pat's moved away since but he was visiting on, on that day with my dad and I took his photo. Next to him is Sakina who's a Muslim friend of mine from uh, from the university and um, I got her, she was an art student as well and I got her on that day. And the last person I'm going to highlight on this one is my Auntie Myrna, who's next in line, and that was taken at her husband, my Uncle Barry's funeral, at the, the wake afterwards, which was in a pub. And uh, so that's another one done there. We're up to eight minutes, as you can know by now. So I'm going to flick over, we'll do a few more. So um, this is great. I actually went on a, um, I went on a trip to America in 2014 too. I went to far northern Minnesota and uh, uh, I visited this lady here who's Mary Pat and I think down the end of this page is her husband Tom who's a, a Lutheran minister that's in the that's in the church that um, Tom was running one of the two churches that Tom was running so and there's a few other pictures there of my trip over there one of which is uh, my mate Denise who came up to visit us while I was there and she's from um, from North Carolina and uh, yeah we're still good mates so you've got no idea how <laughs> how awkward this is trying to hold and stand behind a tripod a tripoded camera as well so all right so we come back over here and look here so um, a mate of mine, Chloe from uni, I went to her 21st and the first two pictures were taken that night. The one next to that, the 1st of September, um, is my cousin Deanna, who is one of one of my closest cousins to me, I think. She's, um, she's a beautiful girl who's, um, who I spend, um, I've had some really nice times with and uh, she's a lot, a lot younger than me. She's still in high school, but we get on really well, so... Uh, let's see what else we find. 
I don't even know that's September the 1st. So we come over here towards the end of that year, um, September, right at the end of September, um, the art students were getting ready for um, the end of year and uh, and there's Re and Bronwyn, um, two art students. Uh, it's very hard to see Re there, I'm going to zoom in as much as I can. You can see her hiding behind her amazing ceramic work there and it's very hard to hold that still so it stays focused but... Um, and Bronwyn's also working at the potter's wheel there and um, yeah, a couple of good photos there random, let's go again alright, we'll leave that one there like that okay um, alright, who have we got here? Ehab Ehab and Jalal I met in Melbourne one day when I was down there with friends and uh, we were eating outside a Subway restaurant and uh, basically they were having lunch too and we were, I was chatting to them and uh, yeah not all the pictures are of people either this portrait here is of Sonny who's, um, who's a dog that was working at a, at a mate's farm oh, I got a day's work up there at one stage too and uh, he looks a lot like my dad's old dog who's since passed away and next on the list is my mate Deb, Debbie Hall, who has helped me out many times filling in for my radio show. I've known Debbie for as long as I've known anyone in Bendigo, I think. So um, she was the instigator of the Bendigo Laughter Club and um, and we're still mates now. So And we'll go maybe one more towards the end of the year. Oh, we'll have a look at the uh, second last page. Or the last page, where are we? Oh, here's, here's a nice page. So, this one here um, is actually around Christmas. Um, and uh, that one there is my dad. Peter's my dad and brother Carl. We were visiting the the um, Salesian brothers at uh, Sunbury Community. And brother Carl used to be at, his, at the school when my dad was there as a student. So, they're not very far away in age. Um, brother Carl wasn't a student then, he was just a starting as, as a brother, so uh, they're very close in age. And the last page, um, remember I said I'm finishing off with a, with a selfie of myself, um, actually ended up with a couple of pictures of me on the last two pictures, but um, the second last day of the year is Carmel with Little Me. That's a picture that um, I scanned and put on my computer as desktop wallpaper and I took the photo. My mum died in 2012 and that was uh, she was the only family member that I couldn't include and um, so I put her in there and that's me at three months old. So, um, And there's my last selfie at the end. I can't even remember how I took that photo or where it was but it's me. And so I basically finished off the put a, a backing piece of card underneath there and um, 94 or 96 pages whatever it was and that's the the 364 portraits project from 2014 my latest artist book